welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello students, welcome to economics online classes. So in the previous chapter we discussed about theory of the form under perfect competition. Again in the fifth chapter we discussed about market equilibrium. So now we are going to discuss the sixth chapter, new chapter that is non-competitive markets. So what are the topics to be covered here means, so monopoly, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, these three topics we are going to cover under the chapter 6. So chapter 6 is nothing but it is the background given by the chapter 4 that is fourth chapter is theory of the form under perfect competition because as we studied in the theory of the perfect competition features of perfect competitive market. Perfectly competitive markets are those markets that market large number of buyers and sellers dealing with homogeneous products that we studied in the previous fourth chapter. So here also that chapter is just linked to the sixth chapter that is non-competitive markets. There is perfect competition is there in between the firms and market. Here there is no any competition in the market so it is said to be the non-competitive market. So uh, we can see monopoly there we studied about the perfect competition features large number of buyers and sellers, homogeneous product, free entry and exit, absence of transport cost. Then also we studied about the some features related to the perfectly competitive market. Here under the monopoly, what are the features of monopoly we are going to study? What are the features of monopolistic competitive market and oligopoly? How do the firm behave under the oligopoly situation? First we should see the meaning of monopoly. Monopoly is nothing but a single seller deals with the large number of buyers. It means mono means here monopoly is there. Mono means single, poly means seller. Mono means single, poly means seller. So monopoly is nothing but single seller. He is command over the market and all the market price everything determined by the monopolistic competitive market, monopoly firm or entrepreneur. So he is the main authority to discuss all the prices. So under the monopoly we are discussing about what are the features of monopoly. Monopoly as we understood monopoly is nothing but it is a situation where there is existing existence of single seller. So all the consumers or all the buyers are the price takers. Monopoly firm is a price maker. Thus as we studied in the fourth chapter link to that and once we should overview the fourth chapter that is features of perfectly competitive market we can easily go through this chapter. So in perfectly competitive market large number of buyers and sellers dealing with homogeneous product here not like that all the price det uh, this determination everything in the hands of single person that is monopolist he is a monopolist or authority to discuss. So what are the main characteristics of monopoly market? We can study under features of monopoly. Here first main distinguished characteristics of monopoly market is single seller. Here only one seller. Best example you can give for this is Indian Railway. No one authority is there for that. Other roadways and all we can see many of the owners, authorities, private, everything is there. Here only the government controlling the Indian Railway. Thus Indian Railway is the best example for the monopoly market. So uh, monopoly is nothing but single ownership, single ownership. Thus single seller is distinguished characteristics of monopoly firm. Means for example one firm is going to undertake the business means here the only the who is entrepreneur or owner he only managing all other things. There is no any restriction on entry of new firms. As we studied in the fourth chapter that is theory of firm under perfectly competitive market under the perfect competition 
there is pre entry and exit any firm can enter into the industry and any firm can exit from the industry according to their uh, conditions situations profit or loss depends on that so that we studied there here under the monopoly only single seller is there ownership is with the single owner and restriction on entry of new firms because all the decisions are taken by the single seller he only going to fix the prices all the consumers or customers are going to follow that particular price prevailed in the market because it is a monopoly market mono means single poly means seller single seller with large number of buyers so restriction on entry of new firms is also one of the characteristic feature of monopoly market so absence of close substitute as we studied under the uh, perfectly competitive markets homogeneous products they are producing means same identical goods they are producing for that there is a perfect competition and for that also we studied that there is close substitutes but here there is no any close substitute for example the firm is going to produce the same kind of product i said indian railway is the best example for monopoly because monopoly market we can see indian railway is also one of the department only the one department is going to control whole india there is no any other uh, indian railway only the indian railway department or authority they are going to control all the uh, this railway uh, authority thus indian railway is best example for monopoly market thus there is no any close substitute same kind of goods produced by the firm that should be purchased by the customers or consumers uniform price uniform price is nothing but same kind of price so price fixed by the firm price fixed by this monopoly firm there is no any changes in the price no change in price thus price fixed by the firm monopolist one owner single owner is going to fix the price for example the price for the commodity a, a is or commodity mango is 50 rupees means that is uniform price for all other consumers or customers it means uniform price same kind of price there is no any changes in the prices of commodity so these are the main characteristics of monopoly market now we came to know what is monopoly monopoly means mono means single poly means seller monopoly means single seller deals with the large number of buyers in the market thus monopolistic competition means monopolistic competition is nothing but here also large number of buyers and sellers dealing with heterogeneous product in perfectly competitive market always i am saying because that concept is closely related to the monopoly market under the perfectly competitive market large number of buyers and sellers dealing with homogeneous product means identical product same kind of product but under the monopolistic competition here large number of buyers and sellers are there but they deals with heterogeneous product means differentiated products so firm produces the different kind of goods so what do you mean by oligopoly next concept we are going to cover is oligopoly oligopoly is nothing but oligo means few poly means seller oligo means few poly means seller few sellers deals with large number of buyers few sellers deals with large number of buyers is said to be the oligopoly market thus how does the firms believe behave in the oligopoly we are going to discuss in upcoming sessions so now we are going to discuss this monopoly meaning we came to know mono means mono means single poly means seller single seller deals with the large number of buyers so features of monopoly are single seller restriction on entry of new firms so absence of close substitute no any close substitute for the commodity uniform price price fixed by the monopolist means monopoly firm is a price maker and other consumers are the price takers so these concepts we are going to 
cover under the non competitive markets first we move to the market demand curve for the monopoly firm market demand curve for a monopoly firm how the market demand curve we are going to derive for the monopoly firm so as we are going to see what is this demand curve market demand curve means market demand curve is nothing but it is the graphical representation of market demand schedule it is a graphical representation of market demand schedule so here in this figure you can see ox axis represents output oy axis represents price dd is downward sloping demand curve so why it is downward sloping demand curve for monopolistic firm means monopoly firm always going to sell the commodity only when the price decreases price is very less or price is very low then only it can going to sell more of the commodity thus here you can see in ox axis output produced oq0 and oq1 level is there price level p0 is there p1 is there so how to derive this market demand schedule means so for example the firm produces output is oq0 during the price is op0 and it also going to sell the commodity at price when price is op0 it is going to sell the commodity only that is about oq zero amount of goods can be sold by the monopoly firm because price is greater than the quantity here price is greater than the quantity for example if with the hope of getting maximum profit monopoly firm is going to reduce the prices because only when price decreases then only it can make the maximum profit price decreases from p0 to p1 then the consumers are going to produce more than that of output earlier in the initial stage when the price is p0 it is going to produce only the oq0 level of output when the price decreases as we studied in the law of demand as we studied when the price decreases demand increases thus demand increases when the price decreases consumer demands more quantity of commodity that is op01 to oq1 for op1 quantity of price consumer is going to demand oq1 level of output here you can see o q1 is greater than o p1 what it shows means when the price decreases then the demand for the commodity goes on increasing in the monopoly market thus monopoly market is a situation where there are single sellers going to sell the commodity so here their main intention is increasing the profit but demand curve for the monopoly market is always downward sloping demand curve here downward sloping demand curve shows that as the price increases demand decreases as the price decreases demand increases means quantity produced also increases so next concept we are going to study is what are the total revenue average revenue and marginal revenue under the monopoly firm here total revenue is nothing but as we studied under the uh, third chapter cost and production and cost chapter we studied total product total revenue total cost everything we once studied once i will recap that so total revenue is nothing but tr is equal to p into q remember once total revenue means p into q means price into quantity produced what is the average revenue average revenue is nothing but as we studied in the previous class formula to calculate average revenue is tr by q means total revenue divided by total output produced by the monopoly firm what is mr mr is nothing but marginal revenue so formula to calculate this marginal revenue is trn minus trn minus 1 means 
total revenue of n unit minus total revenue of n minus 1 unit. Total revenue of n unit means total revenue of current unit minus total revenue of previous unit. So, we are going to discuss how to calculate this total revenue, average revenue and marginal revenue in the next class.